Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Mugen Resha Hen, the anime episode number four. All right, the previous episode. Um, we are we got into the dream section and uh, Tanjiro, uh, Rengoku and Inosuke and Zenitsu both like all of them are like going through their respective dreams. Inosuke and <laughs> Zenitsu's dreams are quite funny, you know, like it's it's like completely different from the uh things that tanjiro and rengoku are going through and uh yeah like tanjiro's uh dream section is the uh toughest because it was him actually relieving the moments of uh what like you know like of before the time that uh you know the thing with the family happened that the family was killed by the demons he's relieving those moments and him being able to realize that something is wrong at the same time and then after he completely realized that yeah this is a dream you know the pain that you have to go through that yeah like i won't be able to stay here this is all a dream this is all like you know fade away as soon as i come out of this thing like that pain that pain of actually realizing that yeah like my family is not with me anymore only nezuko is there like all this pain kind of like you know coming crushing him down at the same time and you know him realizing that yeah i have to get out of here otherwise nezuko will be in danger so yeah like it's it's, it's very painful to actually like you know relive the uh, moment again and realizing that yeah you can't do anything about it oh boy so yeah that was that and you know like he like you know we see him being like you know realizing that yeah this is a dream and then him actually running towards the edge of the dream to actually stop the one who's like you know who's going to like that little kid to stop that little kid and hopefully get out of the dream section so yeah that was that so let's see mm, and like obviously we know what's going to happen so let's see how like you know this up, up till which this episode covers i think this episode will probably cover up until uh the start of the battle you know between the other guy we'll see let's see just what happens because yeah anyway so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number four of uh kimetsu no yaiba uh, mugen resha hen uh, the anime so i'll be putting the subtitle and i'll be putting the subtitle and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> oh, okay Okay. Yep, your own neck. Oh yeah, this thing happened. I forgot about this section. Like he Okay. Oh, yeah, there, there, there he is. <laughs> Small little incarnations of the body, so. <laughs> yeah it's kind of like the afterlife isn't it like i, I think so I, I i think afterlife is something like that this obviously i don't know like no one knows what the afterlife is <laughs> yeah this kind of shows the simplicity of tanjiro like you know like doesn't suspect or doesn't like you know look at anyone in a bad light like he was just searching for something so they were like you know what yeah let's just bring it to him oh boy okay
Wait, so this is the fourth episode. Three more episodes left, isn't it? Fifth, sixth, and seventh, yeah. I'm wondering how are they going to... Uh, like, end this in three episodes. Like, there's quite a few stuff left, isn't it? Like, you know, the whole second portion of the battle is left. Okay, I, I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe it is possible. Like, they'll probably keep... The last two episodes for that, you know, the, the, the other battle. And, okay, let's see. Oh my god, is this the... <laughs> is this Inosuke's? I think so. Yeah, this is Inosuke's, uh, Inosuke's dream. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, you're her. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh, and this is Zenitsu's, isn't it? Yeah, this is Genesis. <laughs> oh boy. In his subconscious. Oh. I forgot this section completely from the movie. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow okay there you go <laughs> oh oh my god hey <laughs> no scared Oh yeah, Nezuko's trying to... Ah... Ah... Okay, there you go. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> Look at Nezuko. <laughs> ah. Nezuko's like, how, why? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Wait, where's the other guy? Who was with Tanjiro? There he is. He's behind him. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think... Yeah. They, they need to uh, wake up themselves. Oh, okay. Uh, Brown, okay. Ha <laughs> ha.
Zens is like Oh my god, he's still <laughs> yeah I, f I completely forgot this section what oh my god god that scared me wait she woke up so what about Inosuke? Oh yeah, everyone woke up, okay. Why are they not waking up? What's happening? Nah, he's changed. Yeah, she changed. He changed after looking at um, you know Inosuke's uh, 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 Tanjiro's. Hmm. Hmm. Up. Mm. All right. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Oof. What's she looking at? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, there you go. There he is. Um, nah, it's night. It's not Ohio. Mm. Um, and then he would have woken up easily, you know, because nightmares you might wake up. I think that's probably why he did not show the night, uh, bad dreams. Oh, great. Oh yeah, I remember.
Just to wait, Rengoku's gonna wake up and... <laughs> Oh yeah, it's in the ink. Oh, it, it starts. Yeah. Remote art. Hmm. Well, well, it was uh, Nezuko, like you know, because of Nezuko, he was able to wake up. Like m the most, uh, the biggest reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Unconscious hypnosis. Okay. Oh, 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 but, but this time it's different. It's different. Here we go. Well, he has immunity now. <laughs> Well, he has immunity now, like, he's using the same technique so many times, it won't work. Up, oh, there you go. Yeah, and he's killing himself. And he's killing himself each and every time. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, because... Well, there you go. That's, that's why you need more than one technique. Oh. Oh, is he showing him? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's showing him a a nightmare now. Oh. Oh yeah, the dad, uh... Oh my god, what the hell? Ah, uh, well... You... You messed with... Yeah!
Yep, that's why you need more than one trick. Yeah, it's not over yet. Oof, boy. Here we go. Pot calling the kettle black. No, that's not a uh, actual, uh, you know, proper um, way to explain this. It's basically. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh yeah, okay. I've forgotten a lot of things I, I can I can see, like Hmm. Okay. Well, now I think Renegade's going to wake up now. I forgot when he, when he wakes up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's burning. There you go. Up. Oh, there you go. Ah. <laughs> He's still in his dream. Kind of. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, okay, that's the end, yeah. Alright, so... I'm guessing the next episode will be the end of this guy. I, I can't remember this guy's name, the, the demon. And... Two more episodes will be left, and then we'll go to the final battle. I feel like, like, in the movie, I've seen, like, obviously I've seen the movie, but... I feel like, uh... Like, you know, the, this demon, his, like, you know, he felt a lot anticlimactic. Like, you know, like, the way they kind of hyped him up so much in season one, in the end, and especially, like, you know, the opening, like, you know, the, the start of this, uh, like, you know, uh, Mugen Resha, the first few sections, they kind of hyped him up so much, and then as soon as Rengoku wakes up, he just, like, one-shots him. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the demon after that was damn strong like he's he's a problem and we know like like what happens after that so and like and as far as i can remember he also kind of um like kind of resorts to trickery that guy in a way i can't remember what actually happened but as far as i can remember there was a thing that actually pissed me off about that demon the demon that comes later on you know, okay, okay, let's watch this. <laughs>
I'm the boss. <laughs> Dog. Dongurimaru. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this. Monjiro. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so you know, like uh, the one thing that I kind of remember about the demon that comes after this is that he, he kind of is like you know, like kind of in a way. I don't remember kind of resorts to trickery or something as far as i can remember uh so that's why it kind of like you know like his his way of doing things was not honorable at all the demon and you know like uh rengoku shows honor up until the end and that that was kind of in a way uh, disappointing because i like you know when the demon was introduced i thought like okay probably this demon will be someone who is like you know honorable and like you know is, I, I thought it would be something like that but as soon as his life was threatened he just like you know like dropped every each and every honor that he had and just ran so like you know that was kind of disappointing as far as i can remember in the movie like you know like and tanjiro also kind of said something like that as far as i can remember in the end that you like you know like uh, rengoku like you have no right to like you know talk bad about rengoku because Rengoku kept his honor and saved each and every one of you. A demon like you would never be able to understand something like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, like, anyways, that's that's going to come in, in the upcoming few episodes. Like, as, as I'm seeing all of these episodes, I'm kind of <laughs> realizing that I forgot a lot of things about, like, you know, the movie. Like, um, I, I completely forgot about, you know, like, you know, like, what happens in the section after uh, Tanjiro wakes up. I completely forgot. You know, the whole thing of the demon kind of explaining how he fused with the train. I forgot that. I forgot how Inosuke wakes up. Each and everything I forgot completely. I even forgot the section where the children attacks Tanjiro. You know, and Tanjiro kind of makes them uh, go unconscious. Knocks them out. So, oh, and I also forgot about the fact that, you know, like, when the demon makes Tanjiro f fall asleep, you know, he wakes back up again. I kind of forgot there for a, uh, forgot for a second there that he was actually going to his dream world and killing himself over and over again. So when the demon asked that, how is this possible? That's when it actually kind of came back to me. I recollected and I really remembered that, yeah, actually Tanjiro is going back and he's killing himself and then coming back again. And after going to sleep again, he's killing himself again. And he's continuing this uh, as long as <clears throat> the demon is going to keep making him fall asleep he's going to continue this so yeah like that's what actually happens you know like um like it's been a while i've watched the movie so i've forgotten most of the important parts but yeah it's kind of make, making me recollect stuff you know and it's kind of nice to like you know get freshened up so that uh season two you know i won't have any problems going going to like you know starting that because i'll remember everything <clears throat> But yeah, like like Demon Slayer season one was like an introduction to Demon Slayer. Now that I see everything, you know, now that I'm watching season two and it's, uh, no, not season two, Mugen Rush and then season two is going to come out. I'm realizing that season one of Demon Slayer was basically an introduction. Like we 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 didn't know any. We just scratched the surface of Demon Slayer. And after this, we're going to get introduced to all the Hashiras. And this is like, you know, the main part is actually starting. I, it, it made me realize that now. And damn, like, yeah, like thinking about it like this, because we like, I have no idea about the, all the other Hashiras. Only Rengoku I know, the other guy, uh, you know, uh, the guy who, I don't even remember their names. I, I, I don't even think they actually mentioned their names, did they? Yeah, they mentioned their names in season one, I forgot. So, you know, like, that's why, like, it's, it's like, it's, what can I say? Like it's, it's so interesting to see that we have so many things left, like so many Hashiras to get introduced to. And yeah, so many stuff left. So damn, I was like, you know, like we ba barely scratched the surface in season one. It was just the introduction. And now we are getting to the main part. But all right, anyways. Okay, so this episode, uh, we see how the, the kid 
who was in Tanjiro's dream. You know, like he's like <laughs> guided by the the little things, the spirit things. And it's interesting to like see here. Like this really makes us realize how Tanjiro is so um, straightforward and you know uh, nice because it it was just that in in his uh, consciousness those little things they they are helping the kid because the kid just uh, was searching for the core that's why they were like okay this guy is searching for the core let's let's take him to the core like he's that simple like, you know if someone asks something to him and asks for help he's going to help them without even like you know questioning them like that's what type of a person tanjiro is and his unconsciousness kind of shows that in a very clear manner and yeah that was that was really nice and then uh okay tanjiro wakes up he cuts his neck wakes up asks nezuko to burn the ropes and i wonder what would have happened if he actually cut the rope you know like he said something about like if i cut the rope i i'm, I'm fearing something's going to happen and i'm also sure about it like you know that i'm i'm also kind of feeling that something bad probably would have happened if they actually cut the rope so i, I wonder like you know like what's the difference between cutting the rope and burning the rope like i think the, the difference is probably that it's nezuko's um blood demon art that she used to burn the rope and I'm guessing there is a difference between that, you know, like cutting the rope and burning it with Nesco's demon art. And I think Tanjiro was able to realize that because he himself woke up because his rope got burned by Nesco's uh, demon art. And he realized that the safest way to actually counteract the situation would be asking Nezuko to burn the rope because he woke up, you know, he was able to safely wake up because of the burning the rope. And so he thought that, yeah, maybe others will also be able to do that. And uh, that's why he like refrained from cutting the rope with his uh, uh, weapon. Like I wonder if there's like there if there's an explanation of what would have happened if he actually cut it with the sword and not used uh, Nezuko's demon art. Probably I think it, it would have probably been like you know stuck in the demon world forever. Uh, what what am I even saying? In the dream world, not demon world. In the dream world forever, or something like that. It would have been. I think so. So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so yeah, he asks Nezuko to burn the ropes, uh, makes the kids, you know, knocks the kids out. The other kid uh, wishes him luck for, you know, the upcoming fight. He goes up and the fight begins. And like this guy, this demon, is like he's so cocky and everything. Oh, like, yeah, when everyone is asleep, <laughs> you know, like they're all vulnerable, like. He was thinking that yeah, like this will be so easy. Like I'll I'll just make Tanjiro fall asleep again, and boy was he wrong. Like he never accept, uh, expected that Tanjiro would, like, you know, as soon as he go to sleep, he would just kill himself over and over again. And you know, like that type of a willpower, like killing yourself is is is, is a oh boy, you know, like the the pain that he has to endure, like that needs a lot of conviction and he is doing that over and over again and his one thing that i actually realized here is that uh, as he said that it actually takes a little bit of time for people to completely go into the dream sequence so like because tanjiro is being like you know sent to the dream world and as soon as he goes to the dream world at that time he's still kind of awake as as the demon said so he's able to realize that he's in a dream and he's able to realize that as if i don't kill myself as soon as possible i'm going to get like you know mixed and melded into this dream world and i'll forget about everything so if you remember the first portion of the like you know the when tanjiro went into the dream section in the beginning at the beginning when he get, goes to the dream sequence he still has his clothes and his weapon and at the beginning he's like where am i like you know what happened to the demon you know like what is this place and he was kind of hovering around like kind of like you know moving around confused and then when he like you know saw his siblings like you know he he forgot about everything he suddenly melded into the dream and he forgot about everything his clothes changed and everything like that happened so it actually takes a little bit of time for the dream to actually ensnare the person who is in it so within that like you know time that little time when he's aware of what's happening 
of, of the surroundings he needs to kill himself otherwise he'll 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 get trapped in that dream, dream sequence again so as soon as tanjiro is going in and now he knows the proper way to get out of this place so as soon as tanjiro is going in he he has his consciousness he's realizing what's happening he realizing that the demon is making him go to the dream world so he realizes that i should not dilly dally around i should kill myself as soon as possible otherwise i'm going to forget everything and this will be a complete disaster so yeah like he he's just going to the dream killing himself going into the dream killing himself that's what he's doing like damn that really does take a lot of conviction and willpower oh boy and then like you know this guy tried to actually like you know trick him with using the a sad dream or a nightmare kind of thing setting and yeah tanjo says that it's impossible like how my family can never be like this like the amount of trust that he has on on his family the amount of trust and conviction he has like that's what it shows you know he he like you know goes to a dream sequence sees sees everyone kind of blaming him but he has that confidence that my family is not like this and he you know like comes out of the dream yeah and then he slashes slices off the neck uh the demon says that oh i have melded with the train the train is me and everyone is my hostage and yeah like try to save everyone so Inosuke wakes up Nezuko also has also woken up and um like we see uh like you know Nezuko kind of <laughs> burning <laughs> burning Inosuke I think that's probably what broke him up of his dream dream sequence thing so I'm, I'm guessing Nezuko's um I don't remember if they explained this or not in the movie but I, like you know, I can realize that Nezuko's uh, blood demon art probably has something which, like you know, it was just helping them breaking break out of the dream because the only one who, who we saw Nezuko, Nezuko was burning was Tan, um, Inosuke, and even after burning the rose, nothing happened. They did not wake up. But after Nezuko was like burning Inosuke himself, he woke up. So there's something special about Nezuko's demon art and uh, like, you know, demon flame. And I think it's probably um, the reason why that is happening is she's able to break everyone out of the dream is because she's a demon. Like, you know, like probably demon blood art works better on something that it, I don't know. Uh, who knows? But that's probably an explanation. Yeah, we'll see. And yeah, no, nothing to worry about because uh, the next episode, uh, Inosuke and Rengoku is going to wake up. And as soon as Rengoku wakes up, we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> Boy. So, yeah, that was it. Uh, Inosuke wakes up and Inosuke, Inosuke is going to help for the time being. Unless and until the other wakes up as well, so that was it that was this episode this was episode number four so we have uh oh, five six seven three more episodes left so the next episode will probably be them actually fighting with this demon and defeating him as well so the last two episodes will uh, like you know center around the next the second demon who's going to come who is a more of a problem than this one and yeah we have to get ready for <laughs> what's going to come we all know what's going to come and Boy, <sighs> that won't make it easy. But yeah, anyways, so that was it. That was this episode. This was my reaction to episode number four of Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahen, the anime. If you, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. That's it guys, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Demon Slayer, Mugen Resh Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.